So today guys, I have um, a tutorial for Kindle Fire 5th generation tablet. So once we all gone through with the setups of um, the moment that you first start your um, Kindle Fire, we will come into a tutorial. So if you haven't watched my video yet, I'm going to put like some sort of a link down below. You can definitely click that so that you can see um, what's inside the packaging and then the other video is um, how to configure how to set it up and um, for you to be able to go to to you know to push through or to move forward with that tutorial so let's get started so I have here welcome this tutorial will guide you through some of the major feature a functionality of your new fire tablet so I normally skip this kind of thing, but you know, um, I wanted to really make a review on it because sometimes um, like reviews are not available so frequently. So I feel like doing this. So okay, so I'll put exit. Um, I mean start. Perhaps so we can start it. So from the home, we have homepage display where the list of your installed apps quickly find your recently opened content by swiping to the recent page to the left helm. Let's click next. So content pages. So there are dedicated pages for books, video games, and more. Each page allows you to easily access recently opened or purchased items um, or discover new personalized content, which is really good. You can actually see it right from here. That there's home, books, video, and games. There are a couple of like widgets. Um, if you have Androids, that's how we call it, like widgets. So uh, it's pretty cool, guys, because, you know, it gives us... A cool thing um for uh, for yeah where we can find things right and like all at once so yeah click next did i there you go so switching content pages you can navigate to a different pages by swiping to the right or left or by tapping a page name so that's actually um how it works so again you just have to scroll it like that you can see that on like earlier right so that's how it would work. The next, scrolling content pages to see more contents and recommendations when on, on a page, simply swipe up, swipe up. So it's actually just pretty much the same with a different device that we have. Um, you just have to swipe it. <laughs> of course, it's a touch screen, guys. So, okay. So let's click next to it. Accessing library in the store. So you can just simply um, see them right over here. If you want to go to your purchases, especially for books, then you just have to tap um, library. And then if you want to purchase, um, you just have to go to the store. So I'm not going to read through this because it's absolutely, I mean, you can read that for sure. And you might want to hate me for that because I'm just reading it. But yeah, I'll just a little bit summarize it for you. Okay, so next. Navigation bar. So we do have navigation bar right at the bottom, which was showing um, earlier in the video. So we have back button, we have like the home screen, and then we have like some sort of a multitask bar. So first the, the triangle going to the right, or perhaps the arrow going to the right, is something that you can always press when you want to go back to the previous page, previous thing that you did. So something like that. Of course, the circle one is for the home button and you guys know what to do. If you click that, it will be going to the home page directly and um, it would exit, exit you from everything what you're doing. And then the box um, right over here, it is actually for the, um, this is for, of course, checking what are the open application, what are the recent applications that you put that you opened so you'll be able to see it this is where you can also delete those browser those application that you already opened so you just have to click this one so here you go okay so uh, for the quick settings um it also actually show us in that all you have to do is to swipe right over here you can see your wi-fi airplane mode blue shade this is really cool guys i'm going to show you um in a bit um and then do not disturb camera help authoritate settings and these are all your notification if you happen to see it it's but it's not okay there so that's how you can see that and um of course the brightness you can adjust it right from here and all that so this blue shade actually guys uh, they're promoting it amazon tablet or kindle fire tablet is promoting it because like if you're if you want to read but of course you feel like you want to sleep as well 
so this really promotes it you just have to turn it on you can have um, blue shade on it means that it won't hurt your eyes so much but as for my sister it hurt her eyes so I don't know but the because the light is a little bit cozy and um, that make me you know fall asleep so yeah I'll turn that on for now I mean off okay so that's how it works and then let's go and next oh that's actually a finish one so yeah that's actually pretty much it so I'll tell you a couple of things right over here so uh, remember I told you what are the functions of this one so here you can let's say um, open the store and then click home um, let's open a camera um, and then let's for this one guys I actually don't know how to exit with this because it doesn't show so what I am doing is I'll go to the picture so for example I click in and I'll go to the vid picture okay I mean yeah so there you go and then once I click that I'll go to um to the camera and that's the time that I would be able to see this um icons again um and then I can escape it from there so there yeah um this is the multitasking you can have it removed right here or you can just simply tap the close or x button that's it for today guys um i'll be giving you another uh, video update once i get a chance and once i was able to fully um fully navigate this tablet so i really did it just did this today because i want to bring it at enchanted kingdom because um our company is having a family day so i want of course to use this for my camera purposes too right um video logs and all that so i need to set it up and i feel like i need to put um this on the video already so that i can go and start using it all right so by the way it says right here that our storage expanded storage available tap for more details so um it says okay um let's go with settings because i want to make sure so here internal memory we have internal storage sd card of course and it's a 16 gig but it's just showing 14 gig um install okay download audio books to your sd cards on um, store forms on your sd card perfect so you see that one when when i first got this tablet i actually didn't put in um a memory card to it right away and um all of these are like turned off um but of course now that it has a memory card it automatically turns on it's definitely easy to use um not really but yeah i feel like i'm so happy today but anyway thank you guys so much for watching and once again this is lindsay lean channel and have a great day Mwah.